What is up guys? Guess what? I'm traveling again. And who guess who I'm with? Not my mom, but my girlfriend, Bonnie, over here. On our very first international trip together. Not just any trip, we are in Iceland. And guess what's behind us? A camper van. So we'll see how this goes because we have no idea how this is gonna go. <laughs> how the sleeping situation is. Uh, it looks pretty cool so far. We just picked up their van. It's early, we're very tired. Um, we were actually gonna do an early hike today, but because we're super tired right now, we're just gonna go with the original plan. We're actually at the grocery store right now. Let's go check it out, get some food, and let's get back on the road. Get the baby cart. Alright guys, grocery run successful. Hardest part was figuring out what the hell anything was because everything is in Icelandic. Oh no, Danish? They speak Danish, right? Everything's in Danish, so I'm not sure what's what, but we got food and we'll see if we got what we intend to get. Alright guys, let's get back on the road. I think first up in our list of national parks. <laughs> I can't speak right now because I'm very tired. Um, that is on the Golden Circle. So I think today we're gonna try to check out three of, I think the four Golden Circle locations. Uh, so let's hit the road. It's not too far from here, luckily. But let's go. On the road again. Yeah. On the road again. <laughs> on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Life I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. Beanie's out. And uh, we're at the first part of the uh, Gold Circle, which is Thingvellir National Park. Uh, this is the visitor center. So if you actually go Google Thingvellir National Park, you're gonna go to like the campsite. Um, and I knew I'd been here before and I saw this building, so I said, no, that was it. I gotta go back to the visitor center. So we're here, let's walk around, check it out. So admittedly, we're extremely tired. <laughs> and originally we were gonna try to hike this today, but that wasn't gonna work. Anyway, um, we actually took a nap at one of the parking spots. You might nap again. But we're gonna try and enjoy this park, park real quick, and then we'll see how we feel after. Moment of truth, our first waterfall in Iceland. Can you believe it? It's gonna be like first of like probably a thousand waterfalls and we're gonna be tired of it by the end of this trip. So let's enjoy it while we can. I go from behind me, she, the most memorable photo here was behind us. Where they before drown women. And beheaded people. That was the most, that was the highlight of this place. Yeah, I had to take a picture of it too. First meal in the camper van. Making Make grilled cheese. On our mini stove here. Out in the parking lot. First meal right there. Circle the three places is one of the more impressive ones. Uh, and if you're lucky and the sun is just right, uh, you're gonna get a nice little rainbow back there too. I think you can kind of see it right now. Alright guys, we are I guess we are at our final golden circle stop. The third and final, uh, which is the geyser. So it's very similar to kind of old faithful Yellowstone, I think, which um, I haven't been to. But uh, they have one geyser here that uh, goes up off every couple minutes or so. So hopefully we get to see it today. Uh, we just have to kind of wait around and hopefully when it does happen, I can catch it. Oh! <laughs> Splash zone. Just finished Geyser and that was an adventure to say the least. We were waiting for a, a big one and when we showed up it was just a small pop that came up and as we were waiting for the next one uh, we unexpectedly got a big one and we were sitting right in the splash zone and got 
all kinds of soaked. So anyway, waited for a few more. Uh, definitely got soaked, so I got my first shower of the, of the day, but uh, the other two uh, we saw were awesome though, so definitely check that out as well. But uh, make sure you're not in the splash zone. You got that Pretty excited right now. We are walking to Hrunalang Hot Spring, um, which is a smaller hot spring, um, kind of out, you know, far away from the Blue Lagoon and all that. So it's not as touristy, but people do know about it if you Google it. It's uh, very small, just like it's not commercial at all. Uh, there's not even showers here yet, or changing rooms or toilets. So just keep that in mind if you are going to come here, but it's one of those um, kind of hidden gems. Just keep in mind though, if you come here, there's like a, this mini hike that you kind of got to do. Um, and you got to change already in your car. So I'd recommend coming in with your shorts already. It's so relaxing right now. And the view below, behind us right here is just gorgeous. What do you think? Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very relaxing right now. It's not super hot either, um, but I appreciate the non-commercial style of this and just kind of chill. Just finished up that hot spring right there. I think for about 11 US dollars per person, that was well worth it. There's only three pools. Can get a bit, a bit of crowded um, depending on the time, um, but we've never had issues finding a space for ourselves. But otherwise, amazing views. Definitely check this out again. They are working on a shower and toilet situation, but not quite yet. It is dinner time for us. It's like almost 10 p.m. here. Seriously? We're very tired. I was gonna cook spaghetti tonight. Uh, we got some ingredients, but we're just gonna make instant ramen. I because no, we're tired and we just need some food. Hi, right, Bonnie. We just finished the waterfall. How do you feel? Refreshing. Or refreshing. Refreshed. Hey, <laughs> cold. <laughs> Definitely wear a raincoat or something water protective. It's very, very cold. Especially as you get closer to that waterfall behind it, for sure. Like, you get a full splashback. So, I thought we were dry from the back of the waterfall, but we went to the other part, other waterfall, which is really cool. Definitely check it out. You are gonna get wet again if you do go though. Since we were cold, and also because it's on the way to our next spot, uh, there is a hot spring. It's one of the um, definitely recommended hot springs in Iceland. I think it's actually a pretty big pool. Some say it's the oldest pool in Iceland. about 20 minutes or 25 minutes but what I didn't expect and one thing you should note here is the pool itself is pretty warm and nice but it's very mossy on the floor so it's very slippery so I'm actually struggling to stay up right now but overall I think it's just I feel we feel a lot better because uh, we're getting pretty cold and tired. Also, what I forgot to mention is this pool is actually free. Final thoughts on this. There are changing rooms, but there's no showers. So if you are have moss on you, you're not unfortunately gonna be able to take that out of you. So we're just having a little lunch break here next to the best view over there. Skogafoss, some eggs, toast, sausage, some apples and coffee, so. Can't beat this right now. So let's actually go check out this waterfall that apparently is here. Apparently. Apparently. It's a really <laughs> adorable waterfall. 
I also didn't realize this is also a campsite, so they have like bathrooms and showers in here too. Next on our agenda was supposed to be the shipwreck plane, but we missed it because we couldn't find it. We are at the Black Sand Beach, where I think uh, we definitely wanted to see. Um, we're stepping on it now, which I can't tell. It's pretty smooth, right? Yeah. It's very smooth. I don't think I've ever been to the Black Sand Beach before, but I'm pretty Fine. excited what this looks like. Pretty excited because we are seeing some puffins here. Pretty cool seeing them here. I didn't expect that at all. Definitely stop by. I actually do really recommend the Black Sand Beach uh, in Vic because it's just scenic wise, scenery wise, amazing. Potentially seeing puffins. The black sand is really interesting. Lots to see and do here. So. How are you doing over there? <laughs> Trying to go to this campsite that's kind of far and all only on gravelly roads for like 40 minutes. And it's all about 50 minutes away, but it's good. They're definitely a very sketchy drive. Making it work is other vehicles that similar to ours are trying to make it as well. Um, it's really beautiful drive though. Just look at the scenery behind me and over there you can even see some uh, glaciers. So just really difficult to, uh, to kind of navigate through. Um, and it's only one lane, but um, if you're good driving, Try to make it here. Let's check this out. It took us 40 minutes of gravel road driving to get here, but this place is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely worth getting here. Questionable roads, but once you get here, trust me, it's worth it. What's cool here is there's a full functioning toilet over here, no kitchen, and lots of hiking trails, or a couple up here, I guess. You can kind of see people climbing up there. And what's really cool here is there's a cave over there where they have some tables set up. Uh, you can have dinner there. Um, and just chill so that's pretty unique over here but there's a lot of space as well um, and it's like t about $17 per person uh, to stay here but really really cool spot well worth the drive here it is made it made good it. driving yes thank you we are cooking our dinner Rans what are you making some sketty sketty some uh, bread sauce and beef Ooh. Let's see how, maybe some tacos <laughs> Gourmet, gourmet. Candlelit dinner. Bon appetit. Can't see it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Having some wine, some uh, vintage Syrah Merlot, and then she's having some Lambrusco. Lambrusco for the win. In our small little cave. Guys, it is almost 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and look at this, it's so light out. Everybody is so active still. People are just like playing, riding their bicycles. It is insane. All alone again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. How it could go so wrong, but you didn't call for help. But let me tell you about the trees and the seas, how it's all connected. The flowers and the birds and bees, and all the lights, yeah, we're all affected. Mm. Watching, pray, pray, pray. I'm breathing in.
officially leaving this campsite. We're a bit sad. If we had more days here in Iceland, we would honestly stay one more night because this campsite is, I will at least say it, a hidden gem for me because there's so much to do here. The camping, so much space, clean bathrooms and showers. The hiking was awesome. The views are spectacular. So definitely try to make your way up here. I would recommend getting a four x four though if you can, but otherwise our car was able to make it though. bathroom break place here and it's very uh, high tech there's two bathrooms and it requires you to pay by credit card but it's nose also we're like maybe we can put two people in one bathroom but I think there's like a CCTV or something that knows because the door wouldn't close so just don't try it because it wouldn't let me all right guys in our campsite for the evening looking real nice out here views check out the views of the mountains back there some clouds a little low uh, on that side. You can see some glaciers if you look really far. Also earlier when we first got here, there was just like 20 horses galloping around and I don't know where they are now, but hopefully they come back a little later tomorrow morning. Um, so we're just kind of chilling. Just had dinner. Our gas stove kind of went out, unfortunately. So we need to buy more gas, but we'll fix it tomorrow. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. It up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. The moon is bright, let's have some fun. Oh, this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Wanna go Calling sick in the morning, baby don't leave It's too much And yeah, we're crazy Deep in love Oh, oh this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Good morning guys, day five here. We are in halfway through and we are in one of the cities, actually this campsite is within one of the towns. This one is really cool. Um, it is quite expensive, but it's clean, got a lot of space. They have an indoor facility, meaning they have a lot. Of, they have an indoor kitchen, they have some washer dryers, they have showers. They have everything you need. They have even hair dryers. Well worth the price, I'd say, compared to all the other places we've stayed so far. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spent my coin for sure 
first start uh, to our day. We've already driven about two hours. We're at Detifoss, which is apparently the second largest uh, waterfall in Europe. This waterfall is definitely impressive. You can definitely see and feel the power of this one being the second largest in Europe. But check out this rainbow though. That is a legit rainbow. If you even look closer, there's a second rainbow there too. So behind me is Selfoss, which is right next to Detifoss. Actually, it feeds into Detifoss. Not as tall, I'd say. Still pretty cool to see uh, if you're already here anyway. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone. today earlier than usual because I'm trying to make a decision here uh, there's an active volcano going on right now we're not sure if it's open or not but we're gonna see if it is so we're tracking it otherwise within three hours gonna make a decision of are we gonna go to the west fjords where we can see the puffin cliffs as we're driving here this is not a plug but we're kind of sad that we found this drink called collab really good. It's got caffeine in it. Uh, it's also sparkling, but they have different flavors like this one's passion fruit mango, but it's absolutely delicious. Not that sweet at all. It's got some, um, some of them have collagen in it using like fish collagen, some vitamins, sweeteners. Pretty good. We are at a random stopping point. There's a viewpoint. We're going to have some miso soup because it's cold. Try not to spill it. All right. We made it. Here's our view. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, with the soup. <laughs> you fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. picture of you while <laughs> oh my god salty it is the ocean opens challenge <laughs> you guys remember when I said we were diverting our plans from puffins and west fjords to volcano? Apparently, everybody had the same idea. So, we were at a campsite tonight, which is only about 12 13 minutes away from volcano parking lot. The idea is to wake up early and just to get to the parking lot at least so we have some space and then we can start hiking. Good morning, guys. It is uh, Wednesday here and we are trying to see the volcano. We actually got here like 6 a.m. but the police is actually blocking the parking garage, parking lot area. So they said it was open around until 8 or 9. It's about 7.30 right now. So I think what we're gonna do is just have some breakfast nearby uh, one of the other parking spots and then just kind of do drive-bys until we see that that cop car uh, has opened up that area. He didn't wash the rice. Oh yeah, look at that. First one in this lot, because this guy probably slept here. They've been trying four times 
when we were driving, it was five minutes to, and we saw that the cop car was still there waiting, and we were about to turn around, but as we were about to turn around, the cop car left, and we became the second car in line to get in here, and we have an amazing parking spot. Let's go. the volcano we are tired it wasn't too bad the hike was overall they said three to six or six to eight hours overall round trip you know, we honestly did it uh in a shorter time than six so not too bad it's just really long and just really dusty too so i kind of felt gross like that's why i changed my shirt wipe my face but anyway that was awesome definitely worth checking out by the way the coolest thing about that and i don't know if we were allowed to but everybody was doing it so path e we went all the way to the end of it but then there was a sign that says be careful and you can technically keep going because there is a path and we got like 600 feet close to the volcano which is insane and it's still erupting it's actually still spewing out lava um but that was just crazy how close we got to it best moment of the day was either that or the fact that we got in the parking lot the second car in because that was awesome as soon as we got in the the cop car just left and we went right into the parking lot. So it's about 4.30 now and we actually just went to Reykjavik because we don't really have much else planned today because I thought the volcano was gonna take much much longer than it did. So we are just walking around Reykjavik right now and exploring and I think we're gonna look for a bar first and see where we go from there. Soup. Yeah. It should be like stewing with some rice. Oh. Good morning guys. It is our last full day here in Iceland. And we are at a really cool campsite actually. Uh, not too far from like, like about 20 minutes out. And what's cool is they do have a, a kitchen that we can use. But the coolest part is they have a little herb garden outside that we can use. Uh, and just pick from and use for cooking. So we are back in Reykjavik, last full day here. We haven't explored Reykjavik yet, so we didn't do it yesterday, we just got dinner and basically went to our campsite. So let's go walk around, maybe check some museums, get some coffee, get some pastries, and see what they take us. <laughs> Did not expect this, but this is some of the best bagel I've had in a very long time. It's very meaty. They put a lot of salmon in there, a lot of cream cheese. The bagel is just, it's not super dense either. Correction, now that I finished my bagel, probably the best bagel I've had in my life right now. Plus, free refills for coffee. Thing that we're doing in this 
trip before we go to our campsite and basically end our trip. We are at the Sky Lagoon, which is the other major one uh, hot spring here in Reykjavik outside of Blue Lagoon. Uh, this is actually closer to the city, but super excited for this. Oh, we can make it for the world to see, cause now I know. We are packing here. We actually just finished Sky Lagoon. At this point, our favorite hot spring. Um, just that seven step ritual was just absolutely amazing. My skin is so smooth right now. My hair is just silky. Yeah, everything about that experience is amazing. I think that was where we stayed longest too. We stayed just over three hours. Plus we had the um, package for two. We had a little platter uh, afterwards as well and two drinks included. So all, all well worth it. I would do it again, absolutely. Right now, we're just kind of packing here, and we're trying, I don't know why, but I feel like we're coming back with more stuff than we, left, we came with, so. And we use up a lot of food, so I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we'll figure it out. Oof. All right, guys, we are officially back at the Go Camper site, uh, where we're returning our car. We are still in our car because we got here a little early. It's been an amazing trip. I will definitely want to do this again. Uh, maybe even hit up the Highlands next time, check out West Fjords, because we didn't get the chance to do that. But I'm gonna end the video here. Um, again, the description below. Also hit that like and subscribe button below while you're at it. And I'll see you at the next adventure.